What's up, where it's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, you already know where you're at, man. We are in the Iconic Studios. You already know what time it is. You already know it's a sneaker channel. So, before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also the notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and all the things that comes with the sneaker channel. Today we have two reviews. Something quick for the first one. I know y'all read the title and y'all really here for that. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here. A box directly from Adidas. Um, something different, y'all. I'm not really even an Adidas man. Um, don't know if I'm even gonna keep these at all. I actually bought them just because, you know, it seemed pretty interesting. Storytelling behind it was pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and open up this box. Again, directly from Adidas. Okay, off rip. I love the presentation, love the presentation. Boom, we have it here, a all green box with the three stripes. Uh, right there you see in the corner, hopefully y'all can see it. You got Kermit right there in the cut. So if you didn't know, man, Adidas had did, um, I guess like this going green project where they did a bunch of um, Adidas sneakers and they had all these Disney characters. The one that um, caught my eye the most was the one with Kermit the Frog. Um, and yeah, man, we're gonna hang grab into it. It does say um, in plastic waste right there. Again, this was like again, this was like a going green project. That's why it kind of has this whole green aesthetic. Uh, let's read the box label. Box label reads: Stan Smith. Colorway on this joint is Pantone, uh, O White, FTW Black, Pantone, and Black Us Original. Uh, Adidas Originals. Um, nothing too much on the box to actually say. I know right here that it says, it is not easy uh, being green. It's not easy being green. So this right here, box label and everything like that for y'all to check out. Very simple, very dope. Again, um, nothing too crazy about this. Let me flip up the lid. Nothing crazy in the inside at all. The shoe does come wrapped in this standard Adidas paper. Hope y'all can see that right there. Hope that ain't too blown out. Boom, we have it here. The Kermit uh, <laughs> times Adidas collaboration, Stan Smith. Very, 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 very simple shoe. Very, very, very simple colorway. It is nothing crazy about this shoe. Um, I was expecting for it to have a little bit more going on or even have like the Kermit, actual Kermit the Frog on the side of the sneaker. Um, but I was mistaken, man. I'm a little disappointed in that alone. Um, but anyway, I don't really wear Adidas anyway at all. I'm more of a Nike boy as you can tell in the background. But yeah, man, very um, okay sneaker, bro. Like, I was looking at it just to kind of see if I wanted for a casual, like, dress shoe or something like that. But off rip, it's not really, really doing much for me at all. I actually probably would prefer just to get a regular Stan Smith if I was to buy a Stan Smith. So, quick review, man, because I don't want to hold this up, man. Bottom is cream. It is like an off-white color for the, um, the sole. You do have Adidas right there on the sole. Nothing crazy, man. Again, Adidas right there. Work your way to the upper. Now, as far as like leather and everything, it does feel really, really good. So I feel like this shoe would be comfortable to wear, uh, especially for like those dressy casual days where you just want to throw on a sneaker to slide on and go. Um, you do have that Stan Smith patch right there. Very nice. I like that hit. Um, I do like on the back where it says being green. I like that right there. Um, it also says it's not easy on this end. So this very dope part of the shoe, um, nothing too crazy. Oh, okay, all right. So right here, it does have Kermit on the tongue. I thought it was on the side. So that was my mistake, man. Again, it's an okay shoe. It does say Kermit right here as well on the side of the shoe. And right here it says Kermit. Um, it does come with some extra green laces. You already know, that probably would have popped with that. But overall, bro, like, I'm not, I'm not too, I don't know, I'm not too shocked about it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't blow blow me in the wind. So go ahead and show the insides of the guts. That's how the guts look right there, mostly white. And it's all leather, man. It's all leather all the way around. It's not like a cotton liner. Uh, the laces are cream or like that eggshell. Um, I paid like 117 for these. Um, just a random drop, literally a random drop. But impulse buying get its worse. Definitely not keeping these, bro. So let me get these out of the way so y'all can see the real bangers because uh, <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> it 
Leaders, you're not winning. You're not gonna win dropping stuff like that, but y'all need to tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Boom, we have it here, the real star of the show. You already know what's going on. Nike box right here. You already know what's going on, bro. Let's go ahead and read the box label. Box label reads, uh, W, which is women's Nike Dunk Low. Colorway is Cell Coach University Gold. Viol or University uh, Coat. Retail on the junk was $100, um, size nine. Um, my boy Zay, shout out to Zay, ZS Grind. Y'all go follow him on Instagram, man. That boy just dropped some new outfits. They probably almost all sold out or all sold out. He dropped it like a few days ago. And when I double back, my size is gone, man. So doing really well. Y'all go check out his new merch that he just dropped at zsgrind.com. But yeah, man, back to the actual shoe. As you can see right here, here's the box label. I like the way that it's focusing on there. We are in 4K, baby. We in 4K now, y'all. Uh, you do have a lot number right here. Any legit checking right there. Um, no quality control stamp or sticker anywhere in here. It does come with white standard paper to wrap the shoes. Nothing too crazy. And off rip, bro. I ain't gonna need a lot to you, but these is hot. Wow, these is hot. Boom, we have it here. The Nike Dunk Low Women's in the University Blue Colorway. Wow, or the UNC Colorway. Wow, off rip, bro. No lie. These is hot, bro. These is hot. These is hot. One thing I'm already feeling, um, I'm going to tell you off rip, is the leather is okay. Um, it's nothing too crazy. It's feeling better than a few other dunks that I caught. But it's all right. It's all right. But I'm feeling it. The color blocking is crazy off the scrimp. It is a very nice shoe. I'm telling you off rip. If you're a woman, you're a woman, you're, you're well, I'm going to tell you off the screen, man. If you're feeling these, don't sleep on these. Whatever the price is, I'm sure it's going to continue to go up. Uh, quick review, you do have the bottom, which is all blue. Bottom right here. Midsole is all white. You got white stitching. Upper uh, does have like um, that blue wrapped around the whole sneaker. And then you have white on the toe box, white on the side panels. You do have a blue, university blue swoosh on both sides. On the back, you do have that gold hit. Hopefully that focus up, focus for me, focus for me, focus for me. Woo, you got that Nike hit right back there, which is fuck, and that gold right here on the tongue, same thing. Hopefully that focuses up for me. Focus, 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 focus. Boom, yes sir. You got that right there, that's that gold hit right there that says Nike as well. Um, guts is blue. Blue sock liner. Um, you got blue laces. It that doesn't come with extra laces. I do like the fact that the tips have this gold hit on it, which is nice, which is nice. Um, you know, a little tissue paper that goes inside the shoe. And so it looks like this. It is yellow with that blue hit right there with the swoosh. Hopefully that focuses up and y'all can see that. Boom. You already know what's going on there. Um, insides of the sneaker itself. This is how it looks on the insides of the guts. Like the actual underneath the insole. That's how it looks on the inside. So hopefully y'all can see that. Um, as far as production dates on this joint, y'all gotta give y'all that. Production dates on this joint was 07, 15, 20, which was July 15, 2020 to October 27, 2020. Um, wow, these haven't been sitting for that long in the factory. I'm believing that Nike is terribly behind on this sneakers. Just sneakers in general, bro. Like, just seem like everything keeps getting pushed back, or it's this delay and shipping, all this stuff. I actually had the the um, what is it, the Georgetown Breeze on the way, bro. And I ordered them on the 29th, and I had I still hadn't got like an update confirmation on shipping or nothing. I called them yesterday, and they just refunded me, bro, because they didn't know what the package was. So that sucked. But you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's no pressure. A shoe I didn't need, I was gonna sell it to somebody I thought I did a review, but it is what it is. But now, my personal opinion, right? Personal opinion. I still prefer this over this. Nah, I take that back. I actually prefer this colorway on this sneaker, right? Because this is like a um I don't know what type of blue this is. It's not really that UNC blue like this is. And like, don't get me wrong, you probably can't tell the difference like on feet, but in person, this blue is a lot more vibrant than this blue. This is kind of like a baby blue 
um, you know, like newborn baby blue right here. And this one's like a more of a powder or a, I don't know. It's very vibrant though, but I prefer if they would have put this color on this shoe to make it perfect. Personally though, in my opinion, if you have this shoe or the high, you don't need this one unless you like gotta have it. But if you don't have either, which uh, either uh, Air Jordan 1 Low UNC or the UNC High or the Off-White UNCs, um, I would definitely grab this as a good, good secondary um, alternative, a cheaper alternative. Um, but again, don't wait on it because I already know, looking at this, this is gonna continue to go up. But again, man, very dope sneaker, man. I just wanted to do that quick comparison right there. Like I say, this Jordan 1 Low is definitely hot. One of the shoes that I'm glad I have in the collection. I, you know, ain't no on feet coming to this, but I just wanted to compare them real quick and let you see like how that University Blue is totally different. Like from this blue to this blue, totally different sneaker. I do definitely think it's worth it if you were to grab it. Um, quality is not there, you know what I mean? As far as like leather, like it's okay, but it's not like how, you know, the St. John's and the low Syracuse, all those shoes that was coming out beforehand, it's nothing like that at all. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a okay leather, flat leather, a um, little bit of, you know, give in the back, but it's nothing too crazy. So, you know, take that in consideration before you buy it. If you're looking for that type of um, quality, that's not what's coming with it. But again, man, very dope shoe. Off rip, bro, just to say, bro, Nike is killing. I mean, killing. I mean, killing Adidas in the paint with his sneakers, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro, but definitely sending this joint back, but had to do me a clip, quick thumbnail for this, man. Definitely a five shoe right here. This is a no-go. This is going back. I bought it thinking, okay, maybe I can, you know, style it, do whatever, but no, sir, this is going back. But yeah, man, thank y'all for watching, man. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know what y'all think about the quality, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything that comes with the channel, man. Thank y'all for watching. You know how it goes down over in my channel. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.